these pitchers are providing a quality pace to this one so far as Holmes swings at the first pitch there, drives it deep out to left center field. Sangalang looking up, and that one's going to be a home run. Nick Holm getting himself on the board, getting the Wildcats a 1-0 lead as he strolls around the bases, and the Wildcats strike first here in game number one. And Holm getting himself the third home run of his on the season. He had quite a few last year, and if Nick Holmes getting hot, you know this Wildcat roster is coming out feasting today. Marish connects, finds the hole. Hoskins looking to come home. And he is. Great RBI single there by Tyler Maris to Elijah Maris to tie this one up. Number 46, Tyler. And with Tyler Marr up, two runners on first and second. Winfield could be in position to take a lead here. Yep, tied the game up with Elijah Maris getting his first start at shortstop today for the Wildcats, coming through with two outs, getting the two-out base knock, and man, was Hoskins looking speedy around third base. And you felt the wind from that swing and a miss there, and the first pitch change up from Orem and gets another swing and a miss, and he can't help but smile on the mound as he knows he's beaten Stone three times already today, working quickly. Looking to give him the golden sombrero and gets the strike three. Yells over to the opposing dugout, showing him the business. Camden Orem, eight innings, two runs. Linfield on top by one. Mannion's 1-0. Meffert is going to swing at this one. He's going to hit it high. Looks like Matthew Lewis is going to be under it for out number three. And Brian Mannion is able to come on and get the one out save. Close off Camden Orem's stellar performance. Wildcats get this one under their belts. Win game one, three to two over these Bruins. In the running in the next couple of years with the new head coaching and new coaching staff. That one deep in the left. A lot of topspin on it, and that'll get down. Jake will round third, and Elijah Maris with an RBI double. It is six to one, and George Fox. So Elijah Maris continues his hot hitting. Not allowing a single hit and walked one, but that's kind of expected in coming into the third inning. When gets a huge strikeout right there as Declan Francis with his seventh career college K. Second baseman number four, Jared Miller. Yeah, good pitch slider there from Francis. It is a still a one-two count in the favor of Francis. Yeah, almost got a piece of the George Fox catcher. Sends him down looking. 2-2 two, two count now. Swing and miss, and Francis gets his fourth strike out of the day. Number four, Jared Miller. Got a big swing and a miss there from Belingan, and a good sign for Declan Francis. And if you're Dan Spencer, that's really what you want to see coming out of the bullpen from this young freshman team. Oh. That one will be shot in the right. One run scores. And the Wildcats will be content with station to station baseball. But now it is an 8 to 2 game. So Nick Holm delivers with an RBI single there. Full count from McWilliams. Walks him. So he walks home a run. Matthew Lewis crosses and a free pass and a free run for the Wildcats. That one going to be passed. The catcher, here comes Marr. He will score, make it eight to four. And a gift there through the first half of the season. They did a couple times to start the season. And a big swing and another clunked ball. Whitaker the throw this time, not in time. And just like that, an eight to five game. So back to back pitches get past Whitaker and suddenly this is an eight to five game. So. Things starting to get interesting here, Johnny. McWilliams one pitch away, that'll get past. Whitaker, no way. Quinn offers scores, and just like that, on three pass balls, the Wildcats bring the lead to eight to six. How about that? McWilliams, three pass balls on three straight pitches, and just like that, it's an eight to six game.
You Base is cleared on pass balls, Johnny, and just like that, this is a whole new ball game. You gotta wonder, what team's McWilliams playing for? Is he a Wildcat? Is he a Bruin? Slugging 739, Joe, through the first half of the season. I mean, this is a guy, came out of nowhere. But really Swenson well. rings him up with the swinging strikeout. A great start for Jake Swenson. Get guys on base in the early frames. There's another walk here. And so Danny Kahn's going to trot down to first with an RBI walk as Maris scores and Linfield being gifted a 2-0 lead already. Payoff, bouncer to third. Hoskins, chance to turn two, won't be in time. Uh, yes, they got him! What a double play by this Linfield infield to get out of the inning and keep a zero on the board. Hoskins, Khan, home. Called strike three. Jake Swenson with his second K of the day as he freezes. The batter's stone. So we'll do the full count one more time. Jake Swenson gets a fly ball on the right. And a catch made out there by Waynefeld. Looked like he might have trapped it, but the catch was made to end the inning. A nice play out there and right by Waynefeld. Score nodded no two run. to nothing. No, no errors, no men left on base for George Fox. Seen those clouds coming in from the east as that one will be down the line fair. Maris gonna round the bag and head to third. Nick Holm will end up on second. So a stand up double for Nick Holm. And good news for him as he will be on second with one out for Danny Kahn. 2-2, Two -two. foul tip caught by Tyler Marr behind the plate. So register that as a foul tip strikeout. And just like that, Swenson comes out and goes one, two, three after the rain delay. We'll be back for the bottom of the sixth on the Linfield Sports Network. One, two, swing and miss. It's a big first out for Swenson there. Right fielder number 10, Evan Fallingen. What you want to see is a good bounce back after the walk. Rain starts to come down once again. Mannion going to try and close the book on the inning. Ah! Cold strike three. Brian Mannion. Ice in his veins. Just needed one out, but gets it with the backward K. Cats keep the zero on the no board. 2-0 no Linfield. Slow roller back to the pitcher. Basket can't handle it, boots it. The run will score and everybody's safe. 3-0 Linfield. As Danny Kahn, any way you can, right? If they can get it done here. Called strike three. And they'll go around the horn. Brian Mannion got the last out of the Eighth via strikeout and starts off the ninth with a strikeout as well as it goes. Even count pitch, two outs, Mannion, swing and miss! Cats win! And there's the series for the Wildcats. Brian Mannion, back-to-back -back saves and the Wildcats take the series two games to one over their cross-county rivals. 